Hey everyone, welcome back to my Noob to Pro Israel Tech Grind series. As usual, I'm making a sharp climb to altitude since we encounter enemies really quickly in arcade battles. This commentary has been added post-recording. If you prefer a non-commentary version, click on the card above. Leaving a comment with any tips on how to improve my gameplay is highly appreciated. I'm so traumatized by the missiles. Always check your back, folks. I'm really enjoying the handling and the speed of this plane. Though, I wonder if I made a mistake jumping to rank 7 battles. Looking back at this footage, I think I'm too far away to land any shots on this plane. Yep, didn't land a single shot. Luckily, the missile's aim is better than mine. I'm low-key jealous of people single-tapping the fire button and landing each and every shot, but I guess that comes with time and practice. I also heard that notching the plane helps with avoiding the missiles, but I've yet to try that. I mostly take 90-degree turns to evade them, while firing off some countermeasures. I'm low-key excited for the F-20A. I instantly pre-ordered it as soon as it was announced. I think playing with it will be really fun. I heard that the update should be released around give or take two weeks, so please consider subscribing if you're looking forward to my USA Grind series. Hey, I actually landed these shots. Learn from my mistake, folks. This is too close to land a missile shot, especially when the player is going the opposite direction.
I avoid head-on battles. The Kafir Canard is so fragile, it's really easy to be shot down or to have to head back to base. It's important to know your plane and what are its strengths and weaknesses. I waited a few seconds before firing, but the player flared up. It's really important to be aware of your surroundings at all times. I learned this the hard way. I see a lot of my thinking as a TF2 spy main reflected in my gameplay here. Drop in quickly, take a few shots, get out, and reset. I'm not sure why I looked back a second time here. This probably cost me the easy kill. Let's take a look at what happened, frame by frame. This is the advantage of recording your gameplay. You can analyze in detail where you went wrong. We can clearly see that my crosshair never actually pointed to the plane. I was first to the right, then above it. If I was not distracted, and followed which direction the enemy plane was moving, turned myself to the left instead of the right, I might have gotten the kill. I decided to abandon this battle and move to a different enemy. This player was too aware at the moment to take them by surprise. Luckily, the missiles came in with a clutch.
You know the drill, folks. My main issue with the aim is probably undershooting and not leading the bullets enough or firing too prematurely. I wonder if I could counteract the enemy player's notching by notching myself. I wonder if it will make it easier to lock onto them. There's no way I'm hitting that player while they are climbing so sharply. Patience is a virtue. Make each bullet count, especially in realistic battles. I'm so glad I didn't get hit by those artillery shots. I honestly wish this plane had more missiles, but on second thought, this is a good opportunity to practice my aim. I didn't even notice the fuel until I heard the engine go off. This is another good point. Keep checking your fuel status. Especially for jets which eat up fuel like the Kfir Canard. I got the full tank which lasts 26 minutes, and it still wasn't enough. I'm not even sure if I can land here, but I'll certainly try. Even if I get shot, I hope I might capture the airport if this is one of those missions. I was trying to use my brakes here and forgot that the S button actually raises the nose of my plane, which cost me the game. Thank you all for watching. Please consider leaving a like if you enjoy this series so far. Subscribe to be in the loop about new videos. And as always, comments with any tips on how to improve are always appreciated. See you all next time.